Today we're talking about gloves. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Vela Harmony. In today's video, we're going to discuss everything pretty much about gloves. Due to the requests from countless members of the channel and our other legends, I decided to do a series on layering, but I'm gonna break them up into the different parts of the body that you need to layer. So today we're talking about gloves. I wanna start by talking about gloves that not necessarily pertain to deep winter stuff at this point because you need to understand that there are different kinds of gloves for all times of the year. So our fingerless gloves that most of you are very familiar with, you have real super lightweight one, like ones like these. I usually use these in the summer when it's really hot. Or sometimes like when I'm riding, especially when I'm riding solo, I go without gloves because I just, you know, it feels better. And then you have some of an, an all arounder glove that works when it's cool to like very hot. This is kind of like a mid weight glove per se, but somewhat light, not super thin. It's got padding in it. This one does not have any padding. Okay. That's a super lightweight. And then I'm going to introduce this one that's a little thicker than these Santini gloves because there, there are times when it's kind of cool, let's say 10 C to like 18 C and really you want something a little more substantial. This is a little more padded as you can see. Now that'll cover the fingerless glove. This is by no means all that's out there, but you need to base what you need due to what's happening in your region. For example, if it's super hot and humid, the lightweight gloves work great. The main reason for wearing them is so your bars don't get slippery when your hands get wet. They absorb the sweat. That's what they're for. These are like an all around, pretty much all most of the year, unless it's very frigid. I like these because they got a little bit of padding, just light padding, but they're also very lightweight. Whereas these have no padding at all. And these are a little thicker. I prefer these when it's, you know, 12 C, 18 C, mild temperature. I like that when it's super hot. I don't like this so much. They would work, but I personally don't prefer that. So when you're buying gloves, think about what temperature ranges you're going to use them in. It's very important. Most of the top vendors will tell you what ranges these gloves are recommended for, especially the ones that we're coming to. For example, these, these are Rafa branded glove. They're made primarily when the temperature is like between say 10 C and maybe 18 or 20 C, you can wear these comfortably. Once it hits about 20 C, I usually just pull these off and go barehanded and just put these up if it's gonna warm up. But when it starts out cool in the morning, like, you know, 45 Fahrenheit, you know, eight or nine Celsius, and you know it's gonna warm up to like 18, I'd much rather cover my fingers in the morning if it's gonna be several hours before it warms up above 18 Celsius. That's what these are for. Now, these fall in the same range that I just talked about these, with just a different style of glove. So when you're buying these full fingered gloves, make sure you check the temperature ranges because even one of our legends mentioned in the comments a while back on another video that he bought a pair of branded gloves from Castelli and they just didn't keep his hands warm enough. So they probably didn't specify what temperature ranges they were eligible for. These are really good in the same temperature ranges, but they, they resist more water than the other two I showed you. This will get wet, so you gotta know that, so you don't wear them on a wet day. So this will work in the same range, but it resists more water. That's why I have that. So you need to get things that will cover the kind of riding temperatures and conditions that you ride in. Now, for the legend that I was talking about, his fingers are still getting cold even though he bought those Castelli gloves. These are made by Rafa, they're called the Deep Winter Gloves. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for things that are, look, that are for temperatures 4C or below to like freezing. Now, even with these, I layer. Let me show you what I layer with. So these are some choices of what you can layer with. I particularly layer the Rafa uh, gloves with their recommended layer because it seems to work best as far as the fit, the feel, the function. These can be worn with or without an outer covering. So for example, you could wear these, the very light merino wool, you could wear these in temperatures 10 C or higher. And like these gloves, once they get above 18 Celsius, they get a little warm, you can take them off and put them in your pocket. 
I like to use these in conjunction with these deep winter gloves. They fit really well. And when it's very cold, 4C or below, that's what I do. They keep my hands toasty, nice and warm. And I like these because they're long. So your jersey goes in here and then you wrap that around your jersey so that the, the, the air is going over you and not through your jersey to, to kind of chill you. But these I like because even though they look bulky, you have the dexterity to shift, you can feel the brakes, you can feel your hoods, you can function somewhat. I mean, you're not gonna be picking up small pieces of things with them on, but that's not what they're for. But I like these, and in addition to the fact that they keep you warm, they resist water. I've ridden these in the rain, they did not get wet. They worked. Uh, so that's what you would do when it gets really cold, you layer your fingers. I uh, brought another layer made by Defeat, and you know, Sportful makes some, there are a bunch of different vendors that make them, but it's always good to make sure you try them out before you go on the road as to how they're going to feel. You don't want your fingers losing circulation because your, your layering is too tight. But you can see these are made by Defeat, and they will also work with this because you want to make sure your gloves are sized appropriately. I did not go up on the size of these. You can see with the other layer that they work fine, they feel good, they would work. That's what keeps your hands toasty warm. These gloves are super warm. Let me show you the inside. See if it'll let me. There's a thick, almost like a fleecy layering. It's free, it does not stick in there, it does not hold your hand rigid per se inside. It moves with your fingers and I think that's how it improves your dexterity. So you need to get cycling specific gloves. Don't go and buy gloves for skiing or other things thinking that just because they keep you warm. They may not work very well on the bike. If you're one of the diehards that are riding and it's cold and wet on top of that, there's another piece of equipment that I have. I don't use it that often, but every now and then it gets wet and cold. It's like a claw. I got that also from Rafa and these go over what you're wearing. And what they do basically is prevent water from affecting, you know, you basically get your fingers separated, two fingers in each one. But they really, it's like a shield, almost like a, a, a galoshes for your hands per se, okay? They work really well. So there are a lot of specialized things that you can get if you're going to venture out when it's cold and wet, and you need to take it seriously when you're layering your hands so that you can really enjoy the conditions as opposed to enduring the conditions. So I hope that this will help you It's a guide as you look out there for things because there are things that will allow you to ride well close to freezing. Personally, I don't like to go out freezing or below because it's just too cold. I mean, your face gets cold. It, it's just hard to keep yourself warm. You know, I've tried it but I don't really venture out that much when it's really at freezing. But these will work great if you're riding in temperatures that are between, let's say, two Celsius, three Celsius, four Celsius, so forth like that, because with the wind chill, your hands will feel like it's freezing, okay? So, to that effect, let nothing stop you from getting your caves in.